M I C K E Y M O U S C. We just sang Mickey Mouse with the authority editor. <laughs> you damn it. I never thought that would ever happen. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Tone and Entertainment. Today we're at Pro Wrestling Action Event. Put it on the Ritz, and I'm joined by the All Star Heavyweight oh, right Champion. This right here. Look at that Real belt. Nice and shiny, Woo! Yeah, okay, don't touch too long. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I did get to go. touch it for like three seconds. Three, that's, yeah, that's that, enough. That's enough. Yeah. Well, he is the authority, Eddie Torres. How you yeah, doing, Eddie? Good. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic, Welcome. man. Thank Look at you. you. Look at you. Look at me, right? You re- you're dressed for the occasion. Right that, there. That's real, what I, I'm told. Oh, become in theme man, every little time. Purple, a little purple, like you know? It. Real you know? spiffy. Hey, real spiffy. You guys bring your A game. I need to bring my good, at least uh, A minus game when I come I'll, to the, A minus. Okay, I'll take okay, uh, I can't that. say a plus. I'm A plus. Exactly. I'm not going to put myself on your level. I know way better than that to even try. You're a wise man. That's why I like you. That's why I do these. That's why we get along. Exactly. Exactly. Now, tonight, you are defending that title against Sir Knight Merrick Donovan. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. What's uh, the night got in store for himself tonight with, when he gets into the ring with the authority? Well, I mean, that's the same thing he learned before. Every time he comes in the ring, he always brings his intensity, right? He's so, you know, so vigor and so on his high horse, right? Let's get it again. <laughs> he literally rides in on his high horse. I don't horse. have to do all that. I don't do any of that, okay? Authority is exactly what I say I am, okay? I'm coming at you, and you don't have the stones to challenge me. I tell you that right now. You don't have the stones. So put that in the bank right there. Tonight, you're going to see Eddie Torres. And I don't need no knight. I mean, he's going to face a king. Oh, I can't say king, but we have a king here. Oh, we I do have the king of South that. Florida yeah, here. Florida, Florida here. Yeah, Daniel Starlin. Daniel Starlin's yeah. here tonight making his debut so, so, as well. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But you know what? It fits me. I'm the king right here in All-Star. Right here. Hey, hey, look at All-Star. It's real nice. You see it right there? Look at that. It even says the authority authority on there. The king's over here. Uh, What about the ruler? The conqueror. The tyrant. I mean, the tyrant. There's a lot of damn names. The authority is yeah, exactly. plenty it's damn to right to the point. Said. Enough said. Now, we are here, and it's called, uh, the theme tonight is called Putting on the Ritz, which yeah. is a callback to the 1920s. Mm-hmm. So, in the 1920s, they were building Mount Rushmore. Uh-huh. So, if you had to give me your Mount Rushmore of professional wrestlers, who would they be? Oh, I just had this conversation recently, actually, oh, about shit. that. And you know, the, 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 <laughs> this is the problem I have with the Mount Rushmore. I'm going to go ahead and be a, not negative. Is that there's just not enough space to name all the Joey Mayberry put, like, seven women on his list. Well, there you go. See, there, there, there's, there's, what, how many spots are on the Mount Rushmore? Four. Four, okay. I don't even think there's enough. There's good president out there rather than that four, <laughs> but whatever. I digress. But that being said, I mean, there's just too many. It's ever-revolving, but I think it's generational for me. Coming up in, you know, the 80s and 90s, you know, I have to look at the guys that I enjoyed watching. Macho Man, Randy Savage. Of course, my favorite, Kurt Henry, Mr. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Some of the best, Bret Hart, um, Kurt Angle. Um, there's just too many guys to name. I mean, the most current for me, I have to say, is Roman Reigns. Okay. I'm going to give credit, you know what I mean? I'm not going to acknowledge him. It's just not setting for me, you know what I mean? I just can't do it, you know, but I you know he's the big dog. But if I have to give anyone credit, Roman Reigns. He's up there, so it's constantly re- evolving. I don't think it needs to be a Mount Rushmore. It needs to just be like a, just a large like committee of like like an auditorium of them. You know, there's just okay. too many in history. Okay. But I mean, I guess I named four. So there you go. Right? You got I, yeah. I named four. So all right, I got caught. So there's <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Okay, there it is. I love the fact that you did put Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning on I your list. I love Mr. Perfect Kurt Nobody, Everybody always says that when I say I'm a big fan of Mr. Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. But people don't realize if you look back, if you I'm going to give a little history. If you look back, watch. Kurt Henning wrestling, uh, Mr. Perfect facing Hulk Hogan for the title. Mm-hmm. It's one of those dark matches that no one really sees. And it's Mr. Perfect literally pulling what Sean did with, with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. Remember how he was overselling everything? Right, okay. Mr. Perfect was doing that way before that, but he was doing it in the right spot. He was making sense. He was down. I mean, it was just his psychology in the ring was so far surpassing so many other people for me. It's just unfortunate. I don't think at that time frame they needed those big six foot five muscle bound guys. It's a different time. He was a well rounded, yeah. you know. So ever since I watched him coming into the business, I always felt like Mr. Perfect was, to me, the epitome of like the I don't want to say perfect wrestler, but the complete wrestler. Okay. Complete salesmanship, charisma, good on the mic, good in the ring, psychology, could wrestle anybody, and I think that's what you got to do. You got to be able to wrestle anybody, any situation, adaptable. There it is. I'm sweating over that conversation. That, that, that's Ooh. all right. Well, in the 1920s also, you know, it was kind of gangster at the time. No, very so, gangster. So if I had to ask the authority, Eddie Torres, what is the most gangster thing that you've ever done, what would it be? I might be incriminated. I can't say that. <laughs> oh, shit. There might be still litigation behind that. I don't, I don't the statute of limitations is over? Limit- Maybe. I was in Jersey at this time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, count, you know, carry the 10. I mean, the most gangster thing I did, you know what? I'm going to say the most gangster thing I did is snatching this all-star championship. Mm. Ain't not more gangster than 
in this. And of course, my with my uh, better half, you know, Dr. Eric oh, Christopher, man, the good doctor. We're not mentioning him. Not. You know, it wouldn't be for him. We we both two of the most gangster people in this business right now, man. So I'll say that. That's my gangster, most gangster feat right here. Okay. And now, again, this is 100 years ago, and obviously uh -huh. prohibition was a thing back then. I know, I know. 2024, I don't think that's why. Everybody getting loose. <laughs> Everybody getting loose. Everybody getting loose. But if they were about to set prohibition in, what beverage of choice are you stashing away to make sure that you can get through those <laughs> tough times? Oh, man. There's, oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, there's, there's so many. There's your, there's your class. I got the whole oh. right? This oh, is God. how we're finding out about the Cayman room. Jacks. <laughs> you ever had Cayman Jacks margarita cans? No, I have not. Oh, man, they're, they're margarita cans. Like, they're small things. I think they're, I like drinking them a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you. And they're okay. very light. But Cayman Jacks is probably one thing I'll hold. Small little cans. I'm not a Truly fan. So all the Truly fans, have fun. I'm not a Truly guy. No fan. But... Margarita in the can, dude. Okay. Any occasion, you go home, you could drink a little bit of that. You go to the beach, you drink a little bit of that. You could be in a social engagement, drink a little bit of that. I'll hide that. Okay. I'll stash it away. You know, put it in my little, like, my wooden floor. You know, back in the day, that little stash <laughs> where you put your children out during World <laughs> yeah. War II. You know what I mean? Things like that. Yeah. Anyways, but that's what I would do. You know what I like? There's no preparation needed for those margaritas. Either. No. You just crack it open and you That's why, yeah, that's why those, that's why you go to a Mexican restaurant. They give you, like, by <laughs> liters, man. They put an IV in you and, like, they just get crunk. But all right. <laughs> Um, well, you know, recently, um, you know, Mickey Mouse was also a thing yeah. in the 1920s, yeah, and was. he just became public domain recently. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, Steamboat Willie, Mickey ah, Mouse, not the M-I-C-K-E-Y Mouse. But M-O-U-S-E. We've got to finish it up. M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-C. -E. We just sang Mickey Mouse with the authority editor. <laughs> you damn it. I never thought that would ever happen. Well, give me some goofy movie, man. I'm all there with that. Anyways. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, he just became public domain. Mm -hmm. Do you think that characters should lose their rights to the original ownership and become public domain? Or do you think the person who created should have the right to pass it down to their generations? I'm, I think it should be passed down. I honestly think, I think it, it, like, it also goes into the original Batman story, you know, like how the creators of Batman, there was two, two creators. It's just, I'm a big comic book fan. So when you see the original content being sold off to other people, it's like you lose, your, like Star Wars. Like, you know, we, everyone might complain like George Lucas was the original, right? But now that's been sold to Disney and everything's been changed. It's different, people, right? Yeah, it's different. So like, for me, it's like, it should be handed down. It should be passed over or at least put into the same family. Okay. You know what I mean? Hand, like, you know, like hereditary. Like a will almost. Like, yeah. you, you should hand it down to your That's, that's, I that's like how that. I feel. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, I think it should be something that should be passed over that someone who will have the same love and care for that character or, or that whole uh, creative, you know, the creative, the character or the, the whole deal behind it, you know, it should be given to the person next who's suitable to have it. Oh, oh hold on. We just got, oh, what is this free guy? advertisement? Oh, Ray Fury trying to get in some free advertisement oh, over that, on the authority's time? Man, we Excuse me. Did you there. pin him for the title? I, no, I didn't. You didn't. Oh, actually, I did. You I don't did. remember him. See? <laughs> All those masked wrestlers look alike. Um, you know? Ray Fury, Ray Phoenix. God. Even the refs look alike, too. <laughs> Even though the you know? <laughs> You, you beat up so many people, you just can't remember. I just who you do. Beat up. It just happens all the time. People just need to get beat up. Yeah. Well, with that being said, you got to go get ready to beat up Sir Nightmare I do. Donovan. I, remember, I heard yeah. the horse and chariot just come in a minute ago. Oh, God. <laughs> well, Eddie, where can people look you up at? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Eddie Torres underscore Torres. Eddie underscore Torres. I got messed that up. See? You, I thought about the horse galloping. Yeah. <laughs> it's very distracting. Yeah, the authority, Eddie Torres, on Facebook. Of course, you can find me on Twitter, Eddie Torres. Uh, look up the good doctor himself, Dr. Eric Christopher. I can't do it without him. We're both tandem. You, don't see, you see him, you see me, you see me, you see him. And, of course, come here, Pro Wrestling Action. Come see the champ. Come watch us all the time. We're... We're doing some great things over here, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm champion. Of course. So we do greater things because of me. A++, A++ stuff A++. Now. now. You know what? Now you're A++ with me today. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> we just sang Mickey Mouse together. We yeah, did A++ yeah. together. Next time, we're going to do the whole Goofy soundtrack, okay? Like the Goofy movie soundtrack. I'm okay, I'm down. You know it? No, I don't, but I will. Well, for the authority, it. I will you rehearse it. it. We'll do the eye-to-eyes -eye part, you know? We're going to play with me. When Eddie Torres tells me to do something, I do something. You need to do it. Yeah, I agree. Well, Eddie, yeah. we got to get ready here okay. to wrap this stuff up. So, guys, if if you like interviews like this with the authority, right Eddie yeah. Torres, the pro wrestling action all-star champion. Mm -hmm. Guys, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay tuned in here to Tone In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.